pick today was the bit was the selection for the Baseball Hall of Fame, and I think only two players made it. And the two players that made it today were Harold Baines and 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 the other one was Lee Smith. Now Harold Baines had played for the White Sox for most of his career because he played with them like three different times. Um, but he did have he did have good stats in his career, but obviously a few people don't agree. He did have a he did have a, um a two eighty nine bad average, which is not too bad. In his career, he finished he finished out his career with two thousand eight hundred and sixty six two thousand eight hundred sixty six crits, four hundred eighty eight doubles, forty nine triples, three hundred eighty four career homers, one thousand six hundred and twenty eight RBIs. He wasn't much of a base dealer. He stole thirty four bases and got caught thirty four times. He walked one thousand sixty two times and struck out one thousand four hundred and forty one times. And like I said, he had a two eighty nine bad average. And he was hit by a pitch. 14 times in his career, so he never really got hit by a pitch a lot, but he did get intentionally walked a lot because of the power he provided. He was intentionally walked 187 times. He spent the first 10 years of his career with the White Sox before being traded to Texas. He played from 1980 to 89 with with the White Sox during the middle of the 89 season. He was traded to Texas, and then he was traded to Oakland in 1990. Then he played with Oakland from 90 to 92. Then he went to Baltimore back to the White Sox, back to Baltimore, Cleveland, back to Baltimore, and then White Sox again in 2000 to 2001. And then he, and then he retired in 2001 when he was 42. And that's it on Harold Baines' part, but now i got to look up Lee Smith here. And Harold Baines is now 59 years old. Lee Smith is 61. It says that Lee Smith made his debut in 1980 with the Chicago Cubs, which I forgot about him playing for them. He he made his debut in 1980 when he was 22, right before his 23rd birthday, and then he retired in 1997 at 39. And in his career, it looks like he played for the Cubs from 1980 to 1987. So he played eight years with the Cubs which is the team he played with the longest. He didn't make a lot of starts. He did pitch 1,022 games in his career and lost six. At the time of his retirement, he did have the most career saves, and this was before Mariano Rivera came in and broke that. He did not have a very good record in the aspect of winning and losses. He he won 71 games and lost 92. It says he had 478 career saves, which now that record is being is held by Mariano Rivera with 652. He struck out 1,251 batters and walked 486. My guess would be that was that what got him in was those career saves. And then he would, and then he played for St. Louis, Boston, California, Montreal Expos, which don't exist anymore under that name. Cincinnati Reds, New York Yankees, and Baltimore Orioles. And, of course, he wasn't a very good hitter. He did get three hits. One of them was a home run, which he hit with the Cubs in 82. And he had two RBIs, so he didn't really bat much because he was a relief pitcher. And his batting average was 0, was 0.47, so it's not that great. 